law and from Shaykh from the purest. I seek refuge in Allah from misleading and from being misled, from betraying and being betrayed into ignorance by others. I ask Allah to guide my heart and to guide my tongue. I begin in the name of Allah, the beneficent, the merciful. There is a chapter, a chapter in the Quran, the book in which Allah has revealed with a bit of it. Allah has said in Arabic, which is Bismillahirrahmanirrahim, Allah has said, In the Insan of Allah, He also said, In the Ladina, Amen, who are Amen, who study hard, He was a soldier, what was a soldier suffer. It is called the Tamil, the Surah or chapter to the time, Allah has said. The English translation renders it by time, and through the ages, verily, man is in a state of loss. Not so those who are given to faith and the doing of good deeds and who counsel each other to truth and who counsel each other to patience. Another translation renders it, I swear by the afternoon, verily a man is a loser. Not so those who are given to faith, those who are given to the Lord and the faith in the Creator. And the doing of good deeds and who counsel each other to truth and who counsel each other to patience. Again, all praise is due to Allah who has created man and has not left him without guidance, but indeed has given him the guidance in the book of Allah and the example of the Prophet. Allah is no mystery, for Allah has said truth. And on the basis of the truth, he says that in the struggle, everybody can fight, but everybody can't win. There's a price that you pay for being successful in struggle. Allah says in the Quran, He has created man to toil and struggle. The word that He uses that conveys the, the, the concept of struggle is kabad. Kabad is a condition of all men who come into this world, that level of struggle. In some instances, again, it is defined as difficulty. That He has created man to toil and to struggle. He has created man for difficulty. And it is through this toil and struggle that man begins to grow. And he is prepared for a, a greater sense of struggle, another level of struggle, in which Allah refers to as jihad. Allah says, jihad, peace of Allah. That is to struggle for the pleasure of Allah, to struggle with the level of consciousness, to be aware of what is required to be successful in struggle, to be aware of what is required to struggle. It is in this sense that jihad is a greater sense of commitment, of consciousness, of understanding. Again, Allah has earmarked everything in creation. He has given it signs. It is called ayat. As the Quran, the verses in the Quran is called ayat, signs. So it is in creation, everything is earmarked and has a sign. So time itself, the token of time in which Allah makes reference to also is earmarked in their signs. So therefore men will know at what time in which they are living. In dealing with prophecy, and I was asked to deal with some of the prophecy of the Prophet Muhammad Wasallam concerning the last days or the last hour. And we look in terms of some of the prophecy that was given in relationship to this the last hour, and we see that much of it matches the time in which we live. The Prophet was once asked by a man, by a person who came to question him. And he asked him concerning the religion. And in Arabic, the word that is translated into English as religion, deen, literally means the way of life. A way of life. He was asked about the right way of life. He didn't say it is to bear witness that there is no God but one God, that there is no God but Allah, and that the Prophet Muhammad given Abdul who lived 1400 years ago to whom the Quran was revealed is the messenger of Allah. He said it is to pray five times a day. It is to fast during the month of Ramadan. It is to pay the charity of the Zakat, and it is to make the Hajj. See, these are the pillars of Islam. The question I asked, what is Islam? And the Prophet replied, this is Islam. In the line of questioning, he asked him concerning the hour. And the Prophet replied, he says, the one who questions knows as much as the one who is questioned. 
So the question I ask is, well, what are the signs? Because everything has signs. And the prophet said, of the signs of the hour. And he gave concerning that the handmaiden will give birth to a master, or the slave will give birth to a master. He said that the slave will give birth to the master as one of the signs that will be evident in the last hour. And that the barefooted shepherd would compete in the building of tall structures of buildings. These will be of the sign of the last hour. Allah in the Quran has revealed even greater signs that are in terms of turmoil and strife that are of major proportion. There is a surah and it is not long, it's a short surah in which I'd like to read as to the translation as to what Allah has said to be on God when you see these things because again, it is a conveyance of the understanding of what times in which you live. It is called the surah to top with, or the folding up. In the name of Allah, most gracious, most merciful. When the sun, with this spacious light, is folded up. When the stars fall, losing their luster. When the mountains vanish like a mirage. When the she camel, ten months with young, are left untended. When the wild beasts are herded together in human habitations. When the motion boils over with the swell. When the souls are sorted out, being joined in life with life. When the female infant buried alive is questioned for what crime she was killed. When the scrolls are laid open. When the world, when the world on high is unveiled. When the blazing fire is kindled to a fierce heat. And when the garden is brought near. Then shall his soul know what it has put forth. So verily I call to witness the planets that recede, go straight or high, and the night as it dissipates, and the dawn as it breathes away the darkness. Verily this is, this is the word of a most honorable messenger, endued with power, with ranks before the Lord of the throne, with authority there and faithful to his trust. And, O oh people, your, com your companion is not one possessed, and without doubt he saw him in the clear horizon. Neither does he withhold grudgingly the knowledge of the unseen, nor is it the word of an evil spirit accursed. Then wherever you go, verily this is no less than a message to all the worlds. With profit to whomever among you who wills to go straight, but you shall not will except as Allah wills, the cherisher of the worlds. Said the Lord of the Deen, surely Allah speaks the truth. In this as well as some of the other surahs Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given, certain signs that would occur, cataclysmic signs, that is tremendous signs that will begin to shape and reshape the planet itself. So Allah says when you see these signs, then it can be categorized as to the time in which you live as being in the hour in which the Prophet Islam has alluded to in much of the prophecy that he gave. He says, in the last hour of the last days, there are signs that will occur that will be so tremendous that it will again begin to arouse within the soul of men the concern for their spiritual well-being. They will not just be concerned as to the physical sense of safety, but it would go beyond that because the 